Uh, we got Patrice coming back today. Patrice O'Neill. Yes. Becoming a fan favorite. Love Patrice. He'll be in. And uh, Pat Cooper today. Wow. Pat so, Cooper. So between Patrice O'Neill and Pat Cooper, I guess we don't have to talk the second half of the show today. We uh, can save our voices. Just sit back and yep. watch. Thank God. Pat Cooper is a bit <laughs> wordy at times. Oh, boy. <laughs> we figured that would be a good mix today. Patrice O'Neill and Pat Cooper. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we're going to torture you. <laughs> is that what we're telling the people? Yes. <laughs> Turns out uh, Patrice is a big fan of uh, yeah, Mr. Cooper. I Cooper's. love Pat Cooper with all my heart. All right, bro. Okay. Do me a favor. Sit up straight. You're not going to come to my house and just sit oh. like that. Break my <laughs> sit up straight. Good morning. Oh, baby, Anthony. How are you? Where's the baby? Pat Cooper. Thank you, Pat. The baby's uh, fine. I'm busting my balls, huh? Yeah. No, were you right. yelling What's down? happening? <laughs> were you yelling down the hall? Everyone's. We got a full report. You were yelling. Hi, bro. Jeez, hello, man. Hi, Pat. Yeah. How are you? Hi, so saying hi to Patrice O'Neill. And why don't you try? Because <laughs> Pat I, Cooper. I Pat's putting his headphones on. I don't know what. With this fakakta <laughs> thing. Will somebody wearing. help this old man with the fucking headphones, please? <laughs> don't call him old. Jesus. Anthony, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, thank you, Paisan. God bless. Nice. Thanks for having me on because of I know the ratings were going down. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> what the hell are I now? Yeah, so we well, figured. What, what am I? What am the I? The ratings yesterday? are going down, and we figured we'd just get yes. rid of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There ready to go. Ready to broadcast. Ready, ready for action, Pat Cooper. Why are you looking at me? I'm looking at you because I can't believe you guys are still here. I know. <laughs> I say that with love. I don't know how people in this country with no talent get lucky. It's amazing. I'm so, what, what do they hire you as one of our bosses? Anthony, <laughs> you don't need fucking, anybody. You understand? Stand. You're holding them up all these years. I know. What are you going to do? I... <laughs> What's new, Pat? Uh, Pat, yeah, what are you up to, Pat? Come on. I am up to here mm -hmm. and... Uh, I got a call at eight o'clock this morning to work a condo. A condo. I, yes, I rather work. I rather work in Germany with Hitler still around. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking condo. A full of who? Who's going to be watching? Now in two thousand and twelve. <laughs> yeah. Not even in this year. <laughs> so this is the shit that I'm Pat, down to at my age. Can you explain the gig? Did I'm you not even talking listen? to you yet. I'll let I'm you sorry. know. Oh. I'm, I'm about to, I'll let you know in four we, minutes. We've gotten uppity <laughs> over the years, guy? Pat. I'm sorry. <laughs> we, uh, you we worked together. together. Now no, I know why, why, why your, your friend North quit. <laughs> <laughs> Norton quit. <laughs> As I miss him. He's a nice man. I just thought his 8x10, it sucks. <laughs> it does. Uh, well, like these it. guys think they're good looking. Yeah. I mean, you know, they got the hair quaffed and everything. Mm. He's a comic. Shut up. Do your comedy. Forget about quaffing. <laughs> <laughs> quaffing. <laughs> That's Patrice O'Neill. Yeah. You did some time I, we, with him we, on we Tough Crowd. Time, I don't know who this gentleman is. He touched me one more time. I'm going to knock him on his ass. Oh, so. oh you think? I'm a killer. Even, even with your copper tunnel, sir? I'm a gang mixed martial arts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get some water here. Yeah, what I the tried. Fuck? Now I'm just going right. to eat. All right. What's doing? How you, you eat while I'm talking? Yeah. You know, Opie, you got some pair of balls. You're eating while I'm talking. Yeah. What yeah. a pair well, of balls. You what need anything, Pat? For? You need anything? You need some water? You I want don't want some... nothing but to get out of here fast. Yeah, yeah Why did you me. move me from eight to nine? Why, what is this shit? Well, we figured uh, we could coast and let you just shine. No, no, I don't want to shine be because star. you knocked out my sleeping <laughs> pattern. <laughs> yeah, can, you ask Pat, can you ask Pat how, yeah. how guys got famous back in his day? Yeah, what happened? Without, How, without, yeah. without Twitter. How did guys get famous back in <laughs> in the day, back in your day, without all this electronic uh, media and Twitter and and emails and 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 sending out flyer things, uh, electronic flyers? How did people get famous? Because they're talented. Oh, see, that's the part that's left and out. Let me tell you something. Without the electronic shit, ninety percent of them wouldn't get a fucking job. Right. And I'm telling you, one of them. I know. <laughs> Hey, Pat, I, I snuck in right under the wire. I got right hey, in there when I had laughing? to. I don't care about right. yesterday, and I don't care about today. What because about tomorrow? it's over. It's done? For who? It's done for me, and that's the end of it, and this is the last hurrah. Well, if it's done for you, how come I'm seeing uh, yeah. you know, stories about you? Well, because and, I got to, uh, listen, I got to come here with something. I can't come here and hope <laughs> to God that you ad lib. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, a safe thing to do. Why'd you bring this uh, schmuck along with I you? I need him because Jewish people in this business have what you call power. 
Ah. He's my only Jew that I know with power. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a good man, and he's a helpful man, and he's right there when you need him. And he's a, he's a good guy. And uh, I, listen, I've had a lot of managers, a lot of agents. Thank God he's not one of them. <laughs> but he's a good guy. And you, ever been, you, ever, you, ever, you ever been screwed over by a manager or agent over the years? I had... I'd say about six or seven managers, and I'd had about maybe 200 agents. I told you, I got Shit. called this morning, 8 o'clock, and all she's going to make is a $12 commission for 2012. That's when you know the country's fucked up. <laughs> what the fuck is I that? I told her I'd give her 20 fucking dollars to leave me alone. <laughs> and she turned it down because then I feel I'm not in show business. <laughs> Look at this shit. A condo? Hey, hey it's work. So what is it, the so clubhouse you took it? area? It's, it's 1,100-seater. It's like the Radio City Music Hall. It's wonderful. You know, I love doing the condos. They're nice people, but not, you know, not 8 o'clock in the morning. For so it's like Mr. Saturday Night yeah. That's the third time yeah, he interrupted so. me. Uh, you one more time, like old man one guy? more time, I'm going to hate black people. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so do you, go, do you go out there and go, hey, Jim, what's with your fucking hair? <laughs> you see, he wants oh to be God. known with a body like that he can't miss. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he's doing fucking Mr. Saturday Night. The man is not in my fucking league. Does he understand? This make this. I'm I'm hurt. Why are you hurt? Cause it's like Pat's still relevant, man. He's not a. You see, he's fighting for laughs. This whole show is a fucking laugh. How the hell could you fight for laughs? We gave up. We gave up fighting. Break. We gave up fighting. He's gonna out, go out today. Don't interrupt the star. He's the quickest guy in the world. <laughs> Nobody come near me. No fucking body. Remember those words. Eighty something. Well, you know, Pat. Eighty. Uh, 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 Eighty one. I'll be eighty two in July. Yeah, fucking yeah. guy is I the know, sharpest. I keep track. Jesus. Keeps his, and that's why I think anger keeps you... You should see him walk around He's the neighborhood. Nice. They, they you see a, how nice guys no, no, will put away. a stamp He's on my 81. fucking talent. They go, well, he has an attitude. Oh, I, I don't have talent. Attitude. I'm not talking to you. Oh, sorry. You understand? <laughs> sorry. You know, I'm only bringing a point that I don't mean a disrespectful to you, but people say, well, you know what? <laughs> see, Pat, you know why he laughs and he has an attitude? I said, what about fucking talent? When do I get fucking, uh, uh, you know, But let's hey, be honest, time. Pat. There is a little bit of anger. One more it's a time, little bit of anger. I'm going to move up to Harlem and pee on the people. <laughs> it's just, Pat, it's a little anger. And I think that keeps you. It's your... not anger. It's called talent, you sick fuck. What's the matter with you? I don't, I think all the, all the, the He's slobber. He's lonely fucking man. All the slobber coming up the side yeah. of your mouth, Pat. Yeah. It's He's not pretty. just talented. That's not talented spit. It's a, li uh, it's uh, a little anger. bit of his anger. Some anger He's praying yes. to work Caroline's. <laughs> oh, I am there. March 10th. He's going to be there next <laughs> weekend. Yeah. It's going to be there soon, Pat. So you think it's all a talent, no attitude. In there to balance. It's all in one. Yeah. First of all, you got to have the confidence in yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. And don't listen to people who think they know comedy and don't belong and no disrespect to this gentleman. All right, then we have to ask you to I leave. I tell you, I got confidence. <laughs> yes. and, if, and if I didn't have confidence, I wouldn't last this far. And I'm 82. Sure. I hope this, my buddy here will last 82 because it's not easy anymore. It really isn't. No? What do you, why, why is that? Because of the bullshit. No, because, well, you saw in today's paper, Rodriguez got $6 million tax write-off. All right? There yeah. are fucking poor people who can't eat, and this fucking guy is getting $6 million. You know what I say? Good for him. He probably does his share on his income taxes, federal and state. He's got to go into a place and not pay an umpteen uh, thousand dollars on taxes just to live in a fucking building. No. Fuck them. Good. I'm glad he found a loophole. That's the first thing he ever said that made a little sense. <laughs> as long as I know Anthony doing this show, he never said anything that I remember. That's the worst fucking thing he could ever say. He's going down with America next week. Right. <laughs> it's all about that. I respect yourself for doing that, man, but I'm going to tell you something. That's wrong. That's wrong. Why? I'm telling you, that's wrong. Any man that hits a baseball or catches a ball don't deserve a six million dollar write-off. Well, I'll it, tell you who deserves it: the school teachers. That's who fucking deserves it. Well, that's a, that's a talent, though. He's a, he's very talented. Well, he's not yeah, talented. Well, he's a fucking ball player. A Give bum. me a fucking break. But uh, you don't think being a ball player I has some talent? No, I think I it's bullshit. Yeah. I agree with him. You agree with him? Yeah, absolutely. What's wrong with you? <laughs>
I'm disagreeing with Pat. <laughs> I agree with Pat. I don't think what's it's this world. It? What's this world coming to? Ah. Stickball. It's, it's a kid's game. Why? Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Why right. are we watching television while we're on the fucking air? <laughs> is this how bad the fucking show is? <laughs> I'm watching a commercial with Drew Barry. I can't fucking Drew believe Barry. this. Drew <laughs> Barry. It's a commercial with Drew Barry. It's Drew <laughs> Barry more. It's only lipstick. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to hock off for half an hour, then die. <laughs> oh, really? Would you like that a little? Well, I'm just making us up. I, I have ele erectional dysfunction oh, so bad Pat. that my doctor has it also. So what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing they can do about that. I had a lady says to me. A lady says to me about a week ago. She says, "You want to go to bed with me?" I said, "Honey, I, if I go to bed with you, I'm sleeping." <laughs> she all. says, "Well, yeah. what? Aren't I appealing?" I said, "Bananas are appealing, honey." <laughs> I can't. I, I cannot force myself to have a fucking heart attack to dip it in your fucking envelope. <laughs> oh, shit. And that's, that's all good, it is that to is me. That's a good it's new a word for envelope. pussy is envelope. envelope. No, black people call it a trim. I call it what? an envelope. Black, what black people? Yeah. Yes, there are black people still around. Your, your, ho <laughs> your horse driver? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I call it trim, sir. Uh, all right, well, uh, keep, uh, I've heard it called trim before. <laughs> horse driver. Yeah, I've heard it. Uh, Get shit. me on up to that brand new street they built, 42nd. <laughs> so you don't want to risk a heart attack to get your nut off? Can I show uh, No? Can I just... Uh, uh, this uh, is why I'm glad I'm deaf. <laughs> <laughs> why would you want to risk it? Uh, I you go don't back with him. I go back with you. How many? A little while back. A little, a little bit. Oh, a little yeah. bit but, uh, I don't want to upset you, but these rat bastards don't want to say it behind your back and say you were a substitute today. To no. remember that. Uh, no, they did. I, they I know were substitutes. Hey, knows, Jimmy, you know. We, all, we, yeah, miss, we, 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 we yeah, miss little Jimmy Norton. I got I to gotta ask, I gotta ask something about when you get to the place. Okay, when you get to the place where you're not having sex anymore, right? What what it what is the desire? Where's the sex? What is it? What's it boiled up into now? Is it just like you look and go, oh, that's just boy. I would back in the day, I would like. What keeps no, you no, going? No, you want the truth or yeah. you want a bullshit? No, I want to. I I want to make tomorrow. That's my future. What else am I going to tell you? My thing. I've done. I've done it all. I've done everything so I ever wanted to do. Not even. I, uh, I open fucking doors in this business, not comedically. Right. Although I was the first Italian to go out in the open and say I am Italian, but that's beside the point. I, I know open doors. Hit. I open doors because uh, I told the rat bastards in my business that they're rat bastards. Right. And nobody had the balls to do it. Right. So remember that. Now all of a sudden, everybody wants to kiss each other's ass. I never did that, mm -hmm. and I never took away my dignity for no fucking body. Ask you about pussy, Pat. Pussy, <laughs> pussy, pussy is over. When you had the best, it's downhill. Fair There's enough, no more. I, just, really? I, I listen to me. I watch a porno and I dance to it. Hey, you ever mess? <laughs> hey, you ever mess with? You ever mess with um, any any stars? I know, like no, no. I humped reg I humped regular people who had regular fucking jobs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. No fucking. And no the closest Donna's. I came to a celebrity, a broad, a wonderful broad. A she wonderful says to broad. me, "You want to put what where?" And I didn't know what she was talking about, and I blew that. Oh, oh shit. Who yeah. was it? Who uh, was it? Fuck pussy. It doesn't matter no more. That's all. The Kardashian, 65 million because they have an envelope between their legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what does that tell you? What the hell does it mean today? There's no, they don't have talent. It's bullshit. You make a porno. She made a porno, so they make making big money. I make a porno, they'll lock me up. <laughs> they will lock me <laughs> up. <laughs> Who is the funniest woman you've ever seen in your life? Phyllis Diller. <clears throat> Phyllis yeah. Diller? Yeah. yeah you Nobody like Phyllis Diller. What a wonderful lady. I tell you, not only that, great pianist, great everything. You know, we all look at stand-up comedy today as just stand-up comedy. There's no more genius anymore that we turn around and say, you know something? There's too many bad comics out there that are not having a, a, a system. They're, they're one subject matter, either pussy, cock, or, or dying, or, 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 or rehab. I mean, Charlie Sheen got a million and a half a week, all right, to be a rat bastard. What does that tell you? What does that tell you about a rat bastard that's going to be on television? Now they're going to punish him. They're going to stop him for four weeks. Who gives a fuck about this guy? <laughs> what has he contributed but fucking anger? Well, a lot of people are interested in it for some reason. Well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. I, I I'd rather play, I'd rather play checkers. <laughs> <laughs> what, did you, what did you think about uh, Joan Rivers? You ever like her? 
I will say this about John Rivers. This is a talented lady. I mm-hmm. don't like her personally, but that's beside the point. If you're talking about her talent, yes. But now she's getting on my fucking nerves. Really? Now she's on slides. <laughs> she's on television. She's on radio. She's gone to walking. But she's uh, such an unhappy, unhappy lady. That's what we said. And she yeah. does not yeah. like to be told because she can't take it. She likes to give it. She can't take it. But I'd mm. say this. She's a talented lady. That's it. Yeah, I saw a documentary <laughs> on her, and uh, she just looks like she never stops. She's constantly on the go and didn't look very happy. No. Because everything. she's when you cover your heart, a heart don't pump right. See, she thinks by changing her face, it's changing her. <laughs> she's still a rat bastard, and that's what's going to happen. <laughs> you can't hide rat bastard. You can't have a rat bastardectomy. I'm calling women no. rat bastards. For rat, ba- like that rat, rat bastard. Oh, but rat, she's a talented lady, bastard. and she's just a... Uh, I really believe she's a lonely lady. Yeah. I really believe oh, yeah, that. The but then again, who the that. fuck cares? I mean, she's doing great. She's going to make $90 million and drop dead like everybody else. What the fuck <laughs> else is that? <laughs> who, is your, who is your comedy mentor, sir? Oh, I had a lot of them. Who'd you look up to? Oh, I looked up to Milton Berle. I thought he was one of the great Who, took, who took you under their wing? You're interrupting my sorry, fucking sorry flow. <laughs> Why do you ask me a question, then you answer me? Because I, I don't know, sir. There's a, there's a drop, and no disrespect, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a drop of senility there that I have to I have to check. I just have to make sure you're going to go, because I did ask you a sex question, and you went on to sing the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, sir, who, you're still interrupting him, though. I'm sorry. He, he's fuming who, over there. Who took you uh, under their wing? You know wing? what kills me? <laughs> oh, no, man. I'm sorry. Go. Go ahead, Pat. You side. know what kills me? What's oh, up, Pat? He's, he's going to be part of my great show today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let him answer the question. He no, went with Milton I, Berle and no, uh, and who, who t- I should have said, who took you under their he wing? He was getting there. Uh, Jackie Gleason. Gleason. Yeah, wow. I say uh, that's right you know, there. Is uh, right guys there. like Henny Youngman? I love guys like Shecky Green and Jack Carter. So I grew up in that era. And uh, in fact, I was just watching a roast a couple of nights ago, and they were so fucking on the money. It was a different kind of quality in comedy. No disrespect to the people today, but they had a they, today they had a purpose. And their purpose was to be funny. Today, they're either looking for a series or they want to show you who can say fuck better than anybody. So there's no depth anymore. It's no fucking depth. It's just like anybody in their fucking business wants to be a comic. I'm getting drilled by a dentist because I want to talk to you about my jokes. Fuck you and your jokes. <laughs> fuck you and your drill. Fuck you and your dental. Fuck you. I ain't coming here no more. And I left. And I just goggle my throat and spit the shit out. That's it. Why don't they leave me to fuck? I don't tell a butcher how to butch. Don't tell me how to comic. <laughs> I know my fucking craft. I've proven it over the fucking years. And what pisses the young comics around who say, well, he's still around. Fuck you. How's that grab you? And fuck you again. Go to Caroline's where you fucking belong. That's the end of your fucking career. Oh, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. Yeah. I love it. I love it. When they say, oh, Thursday, only Thursday he's coming. Fuck him if he never comes. Only Thursday. This, they got a big sign outside. What's his fucking name? That guy with Aflac, Aflac. What's his name? Oh, uh, uh, Gilbert. Gilbert oh, Godfrey. Gilbert. Yeah. Only Thursdays. <laughs> I'm pissed. I got emotional. Can you throw a next Friday in there for him? <laughs> Can you give him an extra fucking Tuesday? Who the fuck cares? His fucking fame is he talks like a duck. What the fuck is that to you? I mean, give that like a person. But he's a cursing on Gilbert insecure. Godfrey. Uh, yeah. what, what did he ever do to you? Very unhappy. Who, Gilbert? Yeah. Very unhappy. Really? Trust me. I think that he's going to wind through. up in Carol. Lines. That's what's pissing him off. <laughs> I think that Why comes is Gilbert through. unhappy? In his act, I think I that comes through. I don't know Gilbert. Through. I don't know Gilbert. He seems like an unhappy Gilbert guy. Gilbert doesn't do our show. But, Why? Uh, he's always been a, it's just a, one of those. He's been a Howard guy for years. So. Oh, okay. Well, that's whatever. Yeah, that's what it Pat is. Pat Cooper yeah. is a fucking fountain of history, man. I thought you were going to say of youth. I was going to say, what are who's you? The, who's the, f- <laughs> back in the day, who was the funniest black guy? Who'd you respect? Who got the respect back then? Black I guys. met Moms Mabley when she wasn't Moms Mabley. I met Red Fox when he wasn't Red Fox. Right. I met Richard Pryor, and in fact, I, I closed the roast. And if you ever get a chance, call the fries, let him give you a copy of that roast. He was here, and he was there in a wheelchair. I mean, you look at a man that broke down barriers. 
I mean, and 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 why did they have to say, well, wow, he's black and he's breaking down? But fucking right. boy, he's human. He broke down barriers. Why the hell do we put people in fucking sections? Why I mean, do give you? Me a break. That's that's not something that was done by black people. See, he brings back slavery. This fucking guy. Uh, loves fucking slavery. He brings back slavery. Uh, he's, he's saw where you were going, Patrice. <laughs> he knows. Pat. He's been around way too long. <laughs> you can't sneak that past him. <laughs> oh, oh <slavery>. shit. <laughs> Did you ever mentor a black person uh, in, I the, in the game? Fuck the black person. Why? 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 I fuck anything when I was healthy and everything. I enjoy women. No. Why do you break my balls with the fucking thing? No, did, you mentor, did you mentor fuck any it. black comedians? The up. smartest black woman <laughs> what, the other day when she said on television, I'm not an African American, I'm an American, was Whoopi Goldberg. And I said, if I meet Whoopi, I'm going to kiss her ass because that's a fucking, that's a stand up statement with this bullshit. I'm an African American. I'm a born in this fucking country. I'm not an Italian American. I'm an American. Mm. So cut the shit with that black crap out it's over now get up there and tap dance for us <laughs> i finally woke up to dent he's playing ping he's playing ping pong on the fucking ping computer <laughs> ping pong <laughs> Oh, oh fuck, God. man. God damn it, There's Pat. nobody. Wow. Listen what? to now me. follow that up. Anthony, no yes, joke on the side. And I yes. say this with my ego. Here's my ego. There's nobody like me because I went out of my way in my career to at least be different. Yeah. And that's what that's I am. What this I, gentleman here is different. I mean, uh, 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 Whoopi is around. different. That's what makes it special. I tell all comics, don't worry, you're going to get the last, but Ugh. try to be different than other comics. Don't be the same shit. You know, try to get an attitude with your comic. <laughs> you know, they go, well, yeah, but I'm going to talk about pussy. So there's your answer. Now, 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 I, now do I, you, I, you sound like you've forgiven yourself for any mistakes, but is there something that, is there an attitude or a moment or something in this game where you, you wish you could take back and, yeah. and redo. Yeah. What was what's what's the yeah. what, what, what yeah. was booking it? this show I lost today? The, I lost <laughs> I, I, I lost I lost uh, two people in my life that I uh, I'm talking about professional now. I, uh, well, actually not a, a half professional. I lost a man called uh, Bernie Brillstein, who I love daily. Bill, Brillstein Gray, wasn't it? Yeah, Billy yeah. Brillstein, who I thought didn't love me because I thought I had cancer in the throat, and he went to Italy, and I told him to go fuck himself, and I, I, ate, I ate my tongue because he was a wonderful man to me. And I said, and then after we got together again, I, I really felt bad. The other one was when I was 14, and this Italian woman who was a widow taught me how to fuck, and I told my friends, and I gave her up, and that was the, she had to leave the fucking city. Oh, shit. There's no guess, and I never, that's the it truth. gave her up. I gave oh, her up. Yeah, yeah, I gave he her up. Fucked, yeah, he told everybody, he opened his mouth. Yeah. Wow, wow. Well, you're 14. I'm you're 14, you don't know any better. Well, I told my you friends, you know, you I'm getting, she's making me go to bed with her. They go, you're a fucking liar, and they banged down her fucking door. And they go, senora, senora, can we get naked with you? And she had to leave. Because because I opened That's, my mouth, you know what? but here's That's, what killed that makes me. makes me horny a little bit, thinking about here's it. What, <laughs> so here's what, some big fat lady, me. she was fat, wasn't she? Here's what killed me. Oh. She grabbed me, she said, what did I do to you, my oh, boy, no. that you did this mm. to me, and she had to move out of the neighborhood. Oh, she gave you and that I good never, pussy, man. No, it taught me, don't give anybody up. Yeah. Just have back oh away and mind your fucking business. Oh, I could have had this woman. She was teaching me all kinds of things, but I had a couple of boys. He don't know. What does he know? How, old, fucking... the, how old the gal was she at the 50. time? No way. No. Yeah. You were 14. She was 50. Yeah. Kind of hot. And she had to leave? <laughs> Dude, that's the right way. I'm sure it's going to as soon as I get home, right. man. I'm going back in so those days. The 40s. Yeah, yeah, the 40s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she turned around when she said to me, what did I do to you, my boy? I wanted to cry. So but you she bit get, my dick a little when it you did It haunts him like the fucking exorcist, Grandma. I know. She <laughs> said, Demi, Demi. Yeah. Why you do it, Demi? <laughs> I let you eat my pussy, Demi. <laughs> oh, why? F uh, Pat, can you please... Uh, this is that's this is an unbelievable story. I can't. This is I know. Can you please a little bit of how this unfolded? How did it start? Very simple. I'll tell you when. I turned around and she called me to go shopping with her to help her go shopping. And I would carry the bag. She gave me a quarter, 
And I would turn around and, you know, and I look forward to her. She'd cook me a sandwich or something, and she would tell my mother that, I'm a, you know, do you mind? And my mother would say, oh, no, I get a quarter. I was like, a fucking quarter, 14 years old, 13 years old, whatever. And then she'd say, you know, did you have a girlfriend? And uh. you have a nice lady? No, well, one day when you get a big, it's going to, and she started to tell me. And next thing I know, she's, 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 she's calling my cock Pisha. You have a nice apicia. And I'm looking at him saying, and I got a heart on. And I didn't understand it. I got a scared. And she told me not to get a scared. She says, God blessed you with the something that you're going to wait on the line for. Oh. And I said, I got to wait on the line for what? She's got my cock in her hand, and I'm going, I'm embarrassed. And she says, Zulu, Zulu, take it easy. All alone we are. And... Uh, and for about a month or so, I'm banging his bro, and I never know. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was putting it in a nest. <laughs> I never saw hair. I thought it was a fucking, I thought it was a rug. I never saw a pussy with hair. It's the truth. Oh, I thought it was a rug. Oh, and she goes, oh, don't worry. Oh, then this red thing popped up, and I got a scared. Oh. I thought it was a fucking rooster. I don't know why not. <laughs> All these years, I've never heard it called a nest. Uh, it's the shit. greatest thing ever. Wow. So wow. She, uh, yeah. And and I, I but, got but it. You know, in, in, in in all reality, this is a this is a molestation story. Oh yeah, <laughs> but, but do you see how guys? No, it works though. This is if like, it's a fifty-year-old guy and a fourteen-year-old girl, then this is a great she's taught me something that you never would learn. Like today, we don't even today. Everybody knows about everything. But she right. taught me not to be afraid of something. She said that God blessed you with one of the great moments. So don't don't throw it aside. She was trying to teach me. Oh, I was a kid. I mean, I went fucking nuts. And I had to open my mouth to the boys, and the next day he banged on the door. Senora, can I, uh, can they I come? They wanted a little too, huh? Yeah. Yeah. punk-ass friends. Yeah, what a yeah. bunch of motherfuckers. Yeah. They motherfucked you. But you should have kept your mouth shut. What? But he didn't. I, I mean, I don't, he, I don't he, married he, her when he, she was 70. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But so yeah. wonderful But woman. when you laid it down on girls your age, it must have been, they must have just fell in love then. Because yeah, like, you just learned so much I never forgot shit. that, that. Encounter for that month that I was with that woman, and every once in a while, when I want to say something out of the way, I back off because I remember what she says. What did I do to you that you do this to oh, me? Oh, boy. Well, I wanted to stay. Then my mother says, "How come I said you had left?" I go, bah, 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 dah, dah, dah. <laughs> "She goes, what's going?" And my friends go, "You never fucked. They were full of shit." And she went about, and I said, "What, what uh, did it mean?" Say, but this at that is point, why, that wasn't no, the important part. That, the only good thing about that, I separated myself from these guys because I knew this was not for me, man. You got to keep your mouth shut. Yeah, and yeah. That's the way. So I thought, I think it made me a better man, really. You know? Good thing you learned it that way. Uh, yeah. You could have learned it another way oh, with, sure, uh, sure. Uh, you know, with, uh, yeah, with keep the boys. Your mouth shut. <laughs> the real boys in the neighborhood. <laughs> Wow, that's, uh, that's, that's a some great story. story man. And that's that was a, back yeah. in the 40s, I guess you said? Yeah, I was <laughs> yeah. about 14 to 14. It's that's in my book. Hot. Wow. How, how's the book? Doing well? It's over, it's over 15,000. Damn. Book doing well, sir. Mustache You're guy. You're him? Well, because he's, like he's, he's keeping track of the numbers, I'm sure. Look at oh, him. I'm sure he's he a numbers is. guy. You can tell. He looks like a numbers what? guy. What? I was calling your wife. Yeah? About 15. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I go anywhere. <laughs> Can we not look over that place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I go anywhere to sign. I go on the radio. I'm plugging this shit. Because I know I got a good product. I yeah. know it. We and I'm going to stick with this thing until I fucking not die. That. I want every yeah. comic to read it. Not because I need to and fuck the money. And he'll tell you, we didn't ask for money. I want it to be published. I want every comic who loves comedy. Really loves comedy and know what a dangerous craft it is. It's not a throwaway. You don't go out there and say I'm a comedian. And think, you know, it's it's a tough fucking business. Yeah. And I earned whatever fuck money I made in this business and all my failures. And I try to explain to this gentleman here. I say, man, I made mistakes, man. I lost family with all this shit. Give me a fucking break. But the people don't understand. They go, well, he's a loud mouth. No, I stood up for my values. Mother or father, and give a fuck. When did you? When did don't you? Don't want to leave me alone, this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to leave me alone. <laughs> when did you? He won't even look at Patrice. <laughs> he, he, has, he hasn't looked at you the whole show. <laughs> He's sort of looking at you now, Mr. Cooper, sir. When did? When did you? When did the change? Because everyone gets in this business with bright eyes and bushy tails. When did you just say you motherfuckers? At what point ah. did you get no, like? A lot of when did you become the pack? A lot of them don't get in with you know uh, uh, bright eyes. A lot of them think fucking comedy is a joke. It ain't. It's a serious fucking business. Comedy ain't a joke. And let me tell you something. It's be a joke. You know the singers that I, I idolize <laughs> can sing the same songs over and over. 
You hear? A comic keeps doing it, it's out the fucking door. Who's they don't have no more creativity. It's the same shit. The same shit and the same shit. Now, if they turn around, I can't point out anybody right now that I got to say is doing something other than motherfucker, cocksucker, motherfucker, cocksucker. I don't see those comics, even the women. They're out there. All right. I said it. There's a guy in Omaha, I think. It's Omaha, Nebraska. He's now a ventriloquist to his cock. That's how down we are. That's how down he goes. I know what a hot on. Then he goes, How are you? How are you doing down there? Everything all right here? And the cock moves like this here, like I'm moving my hand. This is the future of comedy. He's got a cock next, puppet. Next, next, I'll be shitting on the fucking floor because there's no respect for a great craft. This is a fucking great craft. I just did the 92nd Street fucking theater, man. I wish you'd get a copy of that. Because it's, it's, it's something that you got to give back. You care about a fucking great comedy to be a comic and get respect and get laughs at your fucking age, man. That's dynamite. Okay, I ask another question. Oh, uh, one more question. <laughs> when did you become like Pat Cooper? Like, when did you when decide? When I went on the Tom Snyder <clears throat> show. Is when you right after the, right your, after who Johnny we know Carson. Today. Well, no, I was making good money then, but it was like, well, you know, he's an opening act, this and that, an opening act, this nice guy. Yeah, put him on the show, do twelve, fifteen minutes. I was better than that, and I was more than that. And I finally said, it's about time I stood up to these fucking people, and I did. And I went on national television on Tom Snyder. I think it was nineteen eighty, and I told Tom Snyder some of the ball breakers. And somebody insults that these fucking people think they can take my dignity. Fuck comedy, fuck money, fuck everything, your dignity. My father and mother couldn't take my fucking character or my dignity. So I stood up to these fucking people. And all of a sudden they go, and you're who are these people? Career. Who are some of these people? Like who, I know it's figurative, but who's the people? That, so you said, fuck Stephen Eady, Tony Bennett. Tony uh, Bennett treated you bad. Well, Tony Bennett, is a half, in, in my opinion, he was always halfway in a fucking coma. You can't talk to Tony Bennett. I worked with him at the Diplomat years ago. He comes out of the elevator. He goes, when are we going to work together? We're working now. Where the fuck are you kidding me? We're working now, Tony. And I'm saying, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Because he's I love really that he's cursing out Tony Bennett. Like, Tony Bennett. Th these icons are, are his peers, and he's like, these, this Tony Bennett's what, a douchebag. And what did Stephen Eadie's problem? Lola Falana problem? turned around and did a deep nine on me. I mean, it was Lola Falana. Give me a fucking break. A deep nine I went backstage to tell her what a wonderful act she did. She, she says, tell him I'm sleeping. You're standing up in front of me. What oh, do you mean you're shit. fucking sleeping? Fuck you, too. How's Holy that for wow. you? Lola See, Falana. Then she came on the week after and said I was jealous of her career. What career? Give me a fucking break. That's career. true. Lola Falana was a bad bitch, but really. Let's, and let's talk let's about. Be honest. Well, let's it, talk she about. Had a, she had a, her time. Back she in had the day. her time. She did have yeah. her time. She had big acts doing a favor opening for her. Yeah? Yeah. Frankie Valley and the Seasons did it. I mean, a lot of stars did it because she. They I, were trying to make her a semi, a, a big name. Right, star. right. They were trying to put her over. Right. Well, I can't. What, what could Steve and Edie, uh, Steve they Lawrence sent, and Edie they go sent and their possibly little people over there. They sent this girl that works for them. And she goes, Steve and Edie said, I said, I don't give a fuck what Steve and Edie said. <laughs> I, they're not paying me. Fuck them. They're not paying me. When they pay me, I'll do what they say. If the hotel tells me, do this, I'll do it. When the fuck did they come around telling me how to be funny, what to take out, what not to take? Who the fuck are you? And then she said, he, they just said, do you want to go to dinner? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. That's fuck all. Right. Right. Fuck Steve and Edie. What about Rickles? I was and gonna ask the no, funny part. Ask Hold on. Here's the funny part, the sad part. They are old now. It's fucking over. And you know something? They're lonely. They're fucking lonely with all their fucking money and all their misery and all their bullshit. I don't even know if they got a fucking friend anymore. And I'm gonna tell you a fact. When they were sucking Frank Sinatra's ass, even he got pissed off. When the fuck are they going to leave me alone already? Uh, really? They worked with Frank Sinatra. He was nice enough to have the two of them on. He needed these two, but he now, you know, they all want to work with Frank. Everybody wants to work with Frank. Everybody wants to go with Frank. Yeah. Like he was Mussolini. Who the fuck is he? <laughs> you know, he's a singer, great singer, but no, he was a human being. And when he asked me to take something out, I told him, do I tell you what songs to sing, Frank? Don't Jesus. tell me how to be fucking oh, funny. Shit, he would yeah, and not, wait a minute. And Jilly Rizzo behind me, Frank looked at me like he couldn't believe somebody said that to him. All right? And one of the wise guys who was in the dress room said to Frank, you're not going to do it to this guy. I don't want to be his comic. I want to be my fucking comic. Your, my comic. I don't want to be like, I'm your comic. Fuck that shit. I went on on my own. And when I wanted the fucking uh, uh, Tom Snyder show, he says to me, uh, you know what you're saying? I said, would you like to me to repeat it? 
<laughs> I'll tell you how bad it was. We taped in the afternoon, and they had a guy called Walter Kane who was the head of the Sands. And I said, on the air, I said, well, Walter Kane uh, moved me because Tony Bennett didn't want me. Tony Bennett wanted uh, Fred Travellino, which I like Fred Travellino. I said, fine, but I got wow, a contract. Yeah. Yeah. I got a contract. <laughs> You're pushing me aside. So I went to George, you know, I went to his office. I said, Mr. Mr. Whatever his fucking name. I even forgot his name. Uh, Walter Kane. I said, this is the contract I had of two weeks. He said, well, I'll give you another two weeks. I said, no, it's over. I don't want nothing from you no more. You can't do that to fucking me. No way you can do that yeah. to me. Push me aside. All right? Period. They called Walter Kane in the afternoon after I finished making that statement. And he said, the man is a man. He came in here, and he was 100% right, but I had a contract that Tony could pick what comic he wanted. Who the fuck is Tony? <laughs> Who the fuck is Tony to say, I can't fucking work? Fuck him, too. So they go, and they played it. And the man stood by me. Walter Kane, he's dead now, but God bless him, he stood by. He said, Pat was a man, came in here. I said, all right, Tom, why don't you want to fucking know? So all of a sudden, you lost your career. It's fucking over. I said, no, I raised my price a thousand. But a fucker, you come. <laughs> the next day, everybody said, Pat, Cooper, Pat, Cooper, Pat, did you read about that? Because he did something nobody had the balls to do. And national fucking radio and television. So there's your answer. So everybody goes, well, you know, he's a big fucking mouth. Yeah, I'm a big mouth. You ever been mainstream famous, Pat? I'm like sorry? you ever been, what's the I don't even know how to ask what, what, what's the highest level of of fame would you say nationally that you had what, what year what moment do you have you ever had your moment I had a flow which is a gift if you, and any comic can get that I tell them don't worry about stardom if you get a fucking flow you'll be a millionaire in other words continually in, in out there and the people want to see and want to mm -hmm. hear you get a flow don't worry about series and don't worry about that nice and easy because one day you're going to wake up you're fucking old and to do a series for five six years it drains you they don't know nah, i gotta i want to get a fucking series uh, they, yeah, man, all of a sudden they're going to be 82 like me and they ain't cake they can't what about when they can't handle failure or what about when they can't handle i'm not a name no more i don't do the business no more it's fucking over the fucking door is closed you sick bastard you're getting ready to fucking die get laid down put your hands across your balls and fucking die you had enough of this shit people paid money to see your asshole so now it's over you're a fucking bore that's what you say not you you're just talking to us. i think he's talking to us i think he's talking to us Holy shit. Wow, Pat. How, how does he get yeah. this energy? I, I, I don't he's, understand he's, the energy. He's always had the energy. I, I, it's I, not energy. It's, it's energy. What, back off. Oh, sorry. I, I, I otherwise, apologize. next sorry. time I'm not going to ask about your baby. <laughs> okay. And you know I like I, that. Uh, Opie, Opie, it's not a, a energy in a sense of what you're saying. I've been this way since I'm a kid. I was sent to doctors that they thought there was something wrong because I was very outgoing. A teacher, my, oh, may, I, may she be in heaven, a teacher said to my father, he lights up the building. He's wonderful. You were He's an arsonist? Huh? <laughs> were you an arsonist? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an idol live after two hours. <laughs> what a fuck. How did you get this fucking program? Hey, it's I'm Friday. Yeah, it's no. Friday. Give yeah, us a break. You, know, the weekend's you only have to do up. an hour. The we, weekend's coming, Pat. We did 20 this week. <laughs> Bring <laughs> back Jim North. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> When's he coming back? Monday? Yeah, uh, Monday. Back Monday. Yeah. He's yeah. doing Don't the play Hollywood it's thing. Get depressed. <laughs> <laughs> so you always had the over-the-top energy. I, I still want to call it energy. Yeah, Do you okay. ever get tired? I, you know, this Do you wake be, up like this? No. His, <laughs> may I say something? The yes. average night for me, 10 o'clock, I'm in bed. I get up about 7, 6.37, take a shower. The minute that well, phone let's be rings honest, and I'm on, four I'm times on, is he got interrupting me again? Yeah, he's is he interrupting me? Yeah, I don't like black people. Let's, not, <laughs> let's, let's not cancel the seven Ps. Let's, the let's, man <laughs> is trying. <laughs> he don't like black people anymore. He barely likes them to the, begin with. The jug oh, on the side God. of the bed that he just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, Mr. Cooper. But 10 o'clock at night, that's nice. You don't have to be sorry. I love you and I respect you. What's the matter with you? I'm I met you at what's it when we did the college show together. Down, down on 23rd in Lexington area. He didn't remember. But yeah. probably people don't remember shit. You might, you might be get me confused with Flip Wilson. No. <laughs> <laughs> and we did it. Flip Wilson. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, what a show. Oh, oh, the oh. devil made me do it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember that we made a little bit of a movie? Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's another ad lib. Yeah, I didn't meet you. I didn't meet you there. I mean, we I, we used to do. We used to, I used to be on Tough Crowd every time you was oh, on with Colin yeah, Quinn. Right. Yeah. Oh yes, with the, the Colin Quinn. 
And people go, people go, I don't want to do a show with Pat Cooper. I go, just put me on. I love Pat. I don't. Just Why let Pat Cooper go. Because this. You just let him go. Because <laughs> this. Everybody wants to get their joke in. They don't understand. You can, you sit there in the glory of All Pat right. Cooper and just All sit right, there. Exactly. Let me give you a scenario. All right. All right. I'm over people's houses. Oh, very nice. And this guy cranks around. The guy's on. And everybody goes, you know, he said, you don't give nobody a fucking chance to talk. I says, you're right. I didn't talk. Nobody at the table said a fucking word. We sat there. The dog barked. <laughs> That's what happened. I said, all right, big mouth, say something. You know what? Because you're fucking boring. That's your fucking problem. You got no fucking life. You're full of shit. So do what you got to do. Masturbate. That's your big thrill. And I never was invited to that house again. I was going to say, nah, you were imagine. a guest over this house. <laughs> Not Jeez, a good thing to say, right. I've never. Yeah, I, have you? You've been uh, not accused, but people have said you've you've burnt some bridges in your day. No, no, not bridges. How about buildings and everything? <laughs> I tell you, it. it's the best fucking Scorched thing I did. Policy. I should have done it earlier. Yeah, I should have done it earlier. All of a sudden, the so-called stars were. Oh, I don't want to work. I'm afraid. What is going to say? Oh, you're afraid. What I'm going to say? What a fucking joke! Because you're a bunch of pussy assholes. And that's why they you wouldn't can... want to work with you, and they have you taken fuck off the building. That's that simple. Own. That's I became up. a name on my own, and I, I did my own business. I didn't need him. Fuck him. Yeah. And I still will open for anybody, and I still know my place to be in an opening act. So don't, they don't have to tell me, oh, listen, do what, 22 minutes. Fuck you. Where's Stephen Eady uh, now? They, uh, they're in, a, I think, some fucking where in Vegas. Uh -huh. I, uh, nobody, nobody hears for them. In fact, Steve was a great, was one of the great singers. I'm not knocking their talent. All of a sudden, you know, he's gonna get fifty thousand a fucking night. That the, the fucking thing is over. <laughs> he went to a fucking theater. They packed it without poor. Didn't pay anybody get in to see this guy. <laughs> oh, but they don't tell you the fucking truth. Let him in. Where is he now? He dyed his fucking hair red like I did. I look like a rooster. He looks worse. <laughs> so they all want to be fucking young. Steve, if you're listening, you're right now. You're fucking old. You had a great career. You did comedy. You did everything. Lay down. It's fucking old. Pass gas. That's your next thrill. What is your fucking problem? And then uh, you married her. I didn't. So what are you oh, blaming me for? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck was that? He had a tra he had a traipse with her all over the fucking country yeah, with your yeah. wife. Yeah, oh, he buried himself. Uh, this guy could have been a great actor. He could have been a great comedian, but he was tied down with a weight. He had, he had a weight around his balls. Uh, all no, no, his no, no. Albatross. Don't, don't insult the albatross. <laughs> <laughs> That's his private business. What he did? Who gives a fuck? It's fucking over. She was one of the great female vocalists of all that era. But now it's fun. If she can hum now, it's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't know what. See, when you go through life and look in the mirror and say, you know something? You did it all. Where the fuck you going? And you thank God. You dip the bread in the fucking sauce. Not black people. They dig it in the pong cone. Or cold pie. What is that? Here we go. Yeah, we got it. Pat <laughs> oh, Cooper is old as shit. He, he, I mean, <laughs> I never even heard this shit. You should write a book slang. Old some, slang with Pat Cooper. This is some Jim nah, Crow nah, shit. Yeah, the cone bone. My next book, I'm going to give it a name. Of it. When you're born a dog, you can't die a cat. That oh. makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, though. It's, it does, because yeah. it's about your God life. Damn it. Yeah. I got to buy people Pat's book. Because well, yeah. all the people are said, I changed. They're full of shit. Pat, did when you you're do 70 the... years old, you don't change. You're a prick. You've done a die You've always been this did you guy. Do the, yeah, did you, did you do the them. iTunes reading of your book? The, I'm sorry? The reading of your yeah, book. Yeah, it's coming out in Braille. <laughs> yeah. no, no, he wants to... punch the holes himself. No, we want the iTunes version where he's reading With the book to us. Where Pat oh, Cooper's like, tab. Come on. your tab, my fucking tab, at the stage deli, this fucking guy, ain't like... Uh, is Let that me rewind, man. <laughs> I'm going to read that. This so is you, from the you, book. Do you got that? Do you want, got like uh, where you, we can hear you reading. actually read the half book? Done. Oh, half done? Yeah, that's a very difficult thing for me to do. I mean, this guy, Steve Garrett, is great time. at that. Oh, you know, you. He's thank he you. walked me through because now you got to talk about the book and get your voice over with that. Yeah, and the yeah. compliment is people who read my book said, you know, Pat, it sounds like you, which is great. I'm trying to get that on the fucking... Yeah, because right, right. when right. you read something that somebody like you would, would right. written, you hear it in your voice. Stop right. reading while I'm on, you sick bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it's your book, yeah. though, Pat. That's a, that's a good plug. He's reading your book. Yeah, now great. he wants to read Okay, it. now here's some people on the back that's saying you're, okay, ready? And who, what do you think of Jerry Seinfeld? He has, he's a comedian's comedian, I think. Jerry Seinfeld, what do you think of Jerry? 
I love Jerry. It's a man who's had one of the great comedy shows of all time. Mm -hmm. I love Jerry. I, can I tell you something? I still look at the reruns of that show. Yeah, it's hysterical. Oh, fucking dynamite. It's I'm dynamite. one of his biggest yep. fans, Jerry Lewis. Well, Jerry, you know, waiting on line. You weren't even born then. You know, I was waiting on line to see, son, I was, uh, to, to see Jerry and Dean Martin. I sat through six, seven shows at the Paramount. A few years later, Jerry's at my house having dinner. You know, and you say to yourself, can you fucking believe I used to wait to see this guy? And he's at my house now. He loved me. He me. He said something to my wife. God love you. He says, put a tape recorder around this man's neck because all day long he'll have you pee in your pants. <laughs> he's naturally a funny. This is coming from another comic. And when other comics say, you know, pal, you, you just, that's what you want. You want he's a comics comic, legend, but why yeah. didn't none of these fucking guys cuff you and... Put you in that spotlight, Pat. Like put you in their movies and put. I went. I made movies. Don't 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 say. No, I know you. One. I know don't you made movies, Pat. Me. <laughs> I know you made some movies. He's on Pat. your side, Pat. Yeah, but I'm saying, like you were, you're the guy of those guys. Right. They love you, but right. but no, no, they. That's a good question. They didn't cuff you and go. Put I will Pat answer in you. These fucking I will movies. answer you. All right. I'm overbearing. They don't want me in the fucking area. You understand me? They decide, I don't know what this guy's going to say. He's too fucking much. They want people to be under low key, paid apart. Like I did the De Niro movies. I did two of them. And I told my wife, God love, I said, after this movie, I will never be called again. And she <laughs> says, why? I said, because in between, you know, reading my lines and everything, I had the fucking cast pee in their pants. I was telling them because it was boring sitting in your fucking dressing room. I had De Niro pee in his pants. And let me tell you something about Robert De Niro, okay? I go to the Friars about five months ago. He's now a Friar. So I go in, you know, and say, hey, Pat, how are you? And, and, and one of the leaders comes up to Pat, uh, uh, you know, Robert De Niro is here with Joy Behar at the table. I said, and Jeffrey Ross. I said, fine. He said, whatever you do, man, you know, don't, uh, don't make any, and uh, don't, uh, I said, who the fuck you think you're talking to? <laughs> he says, please. So, all right, now, we're doing Mickey Freeman's uh, uh, memorial. Oh, no, we're doing his, his roast, all right? And everybody said, please don't take pictures of Bobby right there, Bobby De Niro. And he's sitting in the corner, and I waved him on you, Bob. I didn't go over him with a fucking bullshit cocksucker's head. <laughs> all right, now I'm closing the roast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Pat Cooper, I said, before I open my fucking mouth, get your cameras out and take a fucking picture of that guy there. <laughs> right <laughs> fucking oh, now. Shit. Stand up, Bobby. Who the fuck you think you are? You can't get photographed. Lincoln got photographed. <laughs> George Washington got photographed. Who the fuck are you? George Washington. <laughs> he went fucking blind with the fucking lighting, and he waved at me. Now I finished, I walked past him, he goes, how do you do that? It's called talent. <laughs> <laughs> and I never knew I'd make another picture because I didn't take over the fucking movie. I was me. Yeah. I got guys in that fucking movie who wanted to say one word so they could join the union. I said, say anything you want. He goes, well, I'm at the bar. Tell to, say to Bobby, the, the era, you know, better call him Bobby. Say, Vito, you want a drink? He says, well, say the fucking thing you want a drink. <laughs> so he comes over, he goes, uh, Mr. Vito, you want a drink? And Bobby froze to say... He doesn't have a line. I said, get the fuck's the difference. He wanted to Tell him, yeah. And it was funny. But I heard the rumbling. <laughs> <laughs> of course. That was the fucking end of me on uh, the two it. shows. But that's okay. They're stupid. Yeah, they, they don't want people, you know, uh, directing the movie. No, I didn't direct the movie. <laughs> I am me. And if yeah, I can't be me, what about scumbags are out there now getting a million and a half a fucking week? I never did that. I'm a fucking mensch. I'm a fucking friend. I'm a good guy. Fuck him. How's that tell you? Fuck him again. You know, people think who the fuck they are because I cannot do what I do. I got family. Tell me go fuck themselves. I mean, what's the difference? Because they're full of shit and they're not nice. That's what you do. That's what makes a fucking man. You call it the way it is. I mean, give me a fucking break. Are you ever soft spoken? Yes, I am when I'm fucking sleeping. And if you wake me up in the middle, I'll I'll, I'll complete the sentence. <laughs> Who else is on the back of the book, Patrice? Uh, he Why the fuck you think you got me on? Because I'm completely different than any one of your fucking guests. Exactly. And you know what? It's good for your show. It's good for me. We're helping each other. This is the last time. And you're letting you talk about you know obviously Jerry Lewis uh, uh, over your house things like that. And I, but I remember as a, a kid watching you on uh, Ed Sullivan. I watched you, you had on, to say on, that, on, eh? on Sullivan. You were well, never a kid. I, I, yeah, well, back in the, you know, the 30s. 
You're an eight pound it. afterbite. <laughs> <laughs> After wow. birth. After <laughs> Who else is on the back of that book? Uh, two more. Uh, two uh, more, Pat. Jason Alexander and uh, 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 way the fuck up. Billy Crystal. Who, who's the one? Great, Billy Crystal. Great. I've never met a funnier man. Sure, I have. It's me. Well, everybody's funny on him. Yeah. yeah. Brad, no. he's wonderful. Well, very, very Now, was strong. Mr. Saturday Night uh, After You? Was that a movie that was made? No, I never was did that Mr. About you? Saturday Night. No, was that character about you? About, no, that was about like the George Burns, the kind of guys who used to work these uh, these condos years ago. We used to work bungalow condos. He did such a great movie. I thought he should have won an Academy Award. He really played that I character. I love Saturday, Mr. Saturday Night. Yeah, yeah. he was one of them. Yeah, yeah, like a while ago. No. He's a giant. You never seen Mr. Saturday Night? A long time ago. I'll have to check it out. You've never seen that movie? No. Great fucking film. I'll, I'll He's check a it out giant. This He's a giant. He's a wonderful, talented man. I'm mm -hmm. telling you. So these kind of guys, I mean, they're wonderful. But, uh, you know, that, that's, it's fucking over. Where are you going? Mm -hmm. I mean, he did Broadway with 700 Sundays. I tried it with, you know, 200 pe Peculiar Tuesdays, and they wouldn't give it to me. <laughs> but that's good. He went on Broadway. It was wonderful. He's good. He, I don't know what more you can do after that. He's done great movies. He's done the... He, he was great on the fucking Academy Awards. You know, I wish they'd bring back, you know, what's his name? Uh, the guy from Long Island, uh, the guy that's with, uh, what's the name? Uh, the Wait, brothers. Wait. The brothers. Oh, uh, Baldwin? Uh, the brothers. Alec Baldwin? Yeah, I wish he comes back again. Uh, give me a chance to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> he hosted the fucking, oh, no, balls on Alec Baldwin. He's a great talent. What the fuck? He don't belong hosting cock. He don't belong hosting cock. <laughs> I needed some rest. Thank God for Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Alec Baldwin. Who saw that He's making 900 oh, yeah. million fucking dollars, and he's fucking, he's getting better. He's fucking better. All right. Uh, geez, any I'll... shows? You got any shows coming up? Pat? Yes. Yeah, this thing. I got yeah, a couple got? of things. The I'm Queen's going... Theater, right? Yeah. Uh, March nineteenth at eight p.m. Sunday, March twentieth at three p.m. at yeah. the Queen's Theater. I'm, I'm going to work the Queen's comp... Theater dot org. Count Basie, the Queen's Count Basie, Theater. Count Basie Theater. I think yeah. the fourteenth. Yeah. Nice of March. And that's another guy I met, and I met Nat King Cole, Elephant John. I work with all of them. I worked with all of them, and you know, and I'm saying, I mean, there are decent people in this fucking world. I mean, Ella Fitzgerald comes over to me, she says, it's a pleasure to have you on this show. She says, on my show. I work with Ginger Rogers, the one who danced with Fred Astaire for years, who won an Academy Award. In walks Cary Grant that fucking night, Cary Grant. And, and she says, she says, Gary, did you like Pat? I love you. Well, I love them. She goes, so I said, do me a favor. Stop the fucking impression. Be who you are. He <laughs> left. He left. <laughs> and she says, "Isn't it?" That's a funny line, though. Carrie Grant doing but, the impression. But that's what I do. Pound what the pound. fuck you want? He's pound. still in the fuck. It's pound like an elephant in here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> pound for pound, Pat. <laughs> the nicest uh, celebrity you've ever met. Just like Sergio Franchi. Who's that? Really? There you go. Go back where you came from. Sergio, <laughs> Who's saying Sergio Franchi. Franchi. I've been saying that for years. Wow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Sergio Franchi. Didn't he say one of those Spanish sales, uh, slave ships, Sergio you Franchi? Know, you know what it is? You know what it is? Uh, they only have one color book. Uh, That's all they have. That. That's Who, all they see is one color book. When the weather. Sergio Frank, one of the finest entertainers I ever worked with. He was a headliner. He sang. He danced. He did everything. It was like I became a brother to me. I loved him so Can much. Can you say somebody Classic. we heard of, Pat? <laughs> yes. You bring up some goddamn Sergio well, fucking Frankie. Well, ah, ah, what is he designed? There he shows? is right there. Look at him. He's on the internet. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Let me tell you how. This uh, guy. That's that's the guy from Anthony and Maria's wedding. Wait a fucking no, your ass is wedding. Your ass is wedding. <laughs> now, let me tell you a quick story. You ready? <laughs> I said to Sergio Frankie, let's go on the A train and work and work. What's a big club up in Harlem? The, uh, the, the, the Cotton Club. Apollo. Club. The, the, Apollo. Apollo. the Apollo. He says, what are you talking about? The bath? How can we work it out? We are white people. I said, you got to sing an A train on the fucking A train. We'll advertise that two white people are going to work the fucking Apollo. Because I, I don't know if they're going to understand them. I be like, well, what do you think these people are? Stupid! They love your fucking bitch, <laughs> and they his manager stopped it. Really? I on the A train, Sergio. Mm. Hello, let's take it the A train. <laughs> Hello, you know, and what's and they stopped it because his fucking manager had no balls. This one had put him in another elevator, baby. And he said, oh, I don't understand. I shouldn't want me to fuck her. What does she understand about fucking entertaining? You entertain everybody, deaf people, people who can't fucking hear, people who can't breathe. You entertain everybody. Don't go in a fucking category because you're making me fucking the crazy. He says, Well, they hear me when the train goes, who gives a shit? It's publicity. Nobody has to fucking. Can hear you. That was the end of me with him. And uh, that was it, huh? That was it. That's why yeah, he's the yeah. nicest guy you ever met. This guy looks like 
<laughs> the father from the Brady Bunch? <laughs> Anybody can a drop bit. a big name, Ray Opie. Yeah. Anybody can drop a it name. Was like a name. Uh, he was on a fucking name. nicest it was like man. Bert Convy. Yeah. Just, anybody no, can drop I'm saying in. somebody just somebody would know where you go. Like I met the Rock. He, he's a nice guy. Like you go, oh shit, that's a nice guy. I'm just saying a, a big star. Where you go, that's a that was a really truly nice fucking guy. That guy. I think there are a lot of them. You know these people here who came from humble beings. Ninety percent of them are wonderful people. Then right. you get the assholes who really can't handle success and shouldn't be successful, <clears throat> and they torture everybody around them. These are fucking assholes. You know, they got lucky, and now when they got old, they, they, they fucking Botox. Botox ain't going to help because they're no fucking heart. you got to have a fucking heart, but they want something better. Now they, man, now the older woman have a new thing. We're now, you know, we're, we're cougars. They want to reinvent their pussy. It's still a fucking <laughs> pussy. It'll die a pussy. It comes out of there peeing, and that's what it does. That's all it's going to do. Peeing and fucking, fucking, and peeing, peeing, and fucking, fucking, and peeing. That's what your pussy is, so cut the shit. You don't like the cougar thing? Uh, I don't think yeah. I think it's a bullshit. They're trying to reinvent their pussy. That's all it's fucking about. I mean, what, the Kardashians? What, what, what are they, actresses? Give me a fucking nah. break. She makes a fucking porno, so she's a star. That's a fucking bullshit. Use That's a pussy. bullshit. Use the pussy to get into a uh, show. I wouldn't touch her with your cock. She's not in my fucking league. <laughs> you understand? When I get him in bed, it's a fucking epic. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that. Are you, packing, are you packing wood, pack? I'm sorry? You packing major wood? That 50-year-old Italian lady you said he was doing all right. No, 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 no. I have a weenie. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you right now, when I, I never fucked with the lights on. Never. <laughs> never. This finger here saved me many times. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to get oh funnier than that, man. All right, I'll tell you the truth. All right. Oh, do you pack it? Everybody want to know you pack it. What am I fuck? What I work for a grocery store? Huh? The lights are out. I was married 44 years. She goes, geez, you're wonderful. I never let her word know. It's in her business. As long as I can pee, that's important. Peeing is important. Years ago, when you fucked, after you finished fucking, you went, ah, ah. Now, today, if you pee at 82, you go, ah, ah. Uh, I get up just to pee. <laughs> it's better than fucking. I don't have to worry about putting a schnapp around, you know. I, uh, hey, I went to get, I went to the fuckers, uh, uh, Dwayne Reedus, I want some rubbers. You know, for my feet. He gives me two fucking confidence. <laughs> I says, I can't put that on. Rubbers. I can't find it. Where am rubbers. I going to put it on? <laughs> rubbers. I don't know. I love that rubbers. I want to update that one. Uh, that's great. My galoshes. <laughs> yeah, right. like, that's what they called them, galoshes. And you don't have high blood pressure. No, I never did. I How go, the fuck I, is that possible? I go for a, I go for a check about, I'd say about every six months, five months. I, I go because my doctor is a sweetheart of a guy. He goes, well, I'm going to see you. You know, and I go down and make them laugh. We talk and everything. And uh, and you go and I, listen. I, I, every day is a gift. I mean, people say uh, you're working. It's, I don't have to work no more. Because his thing is yeah. not stress. Like it's uh, not what he's doing. No, ain't no. stress. Mm -hmm. He's, no, stress he's one of the most stress-free guys ever. Yeah, yeah. He's stress-free. Stress right. <laughs> Pat don't have stress. Because he's not hiding anything. He's not packing I, anything down. I was raised everything this way. Everything comes out of this guy. Right. I was raised this way. You know, my mother go, pass the macaroni. I go, where the fuck is it? You know, that's the way we were. Just Real, my family house. yelled that's at each other. Like growing up in a mad house. My father, <laughs> my father never time. yelled. No. No. My father never yelled. My father beat you by quiet. Yeah. You understand? And when she yelled at him, he got the license out of the drawer. He says, where does it say in the license that I got to take your shit? <laughs> <laughs> kept it in the drawer. That's funny. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why we laughed, sir. That's great. That's All fucking right. funny, and that's in the Pat book. Pat the fucking greatest. Buy the fucking yeah. book, it'll educate you. Buy the fucking What's book. What's the name of the book? I'm it to the How Dare You yeah. Say How Dare, dare me. me. Thank you. Yeah, Is that we, it? We're here. I think we're done, Pat. Are we finished? Yeah, we're all finished. No, we're, yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're finished, all right. Uh, what gig you want to promote? He just takes his headphones off. Are you off kidding like... me or what? No, yeah, we're done, but what gig you want to promote? Uh... I don't want to plug no more. I had enough of this shit. Yeah, we, we barely got <laughs> nah, your shit out there. Enough. That's enough. You I'm, sure? Just a book. Buy the book. You're going to love it. It's one of the is best the books out there. Is this the big one? 
Yeah. All right, you guys thank tell you. me uh, Queens Theater. Thank you. Thank you March most. 19th thank and March 20th. Queens Theater with the great Pat Cooper. Get yeah, your tickets Sunday, through. That's Sunday. I'm doing a matinee at that theater. 3 o'clock. The okay. All right. Queenstheater.org and uh, the box office Very is the number. Good. But you'll, you'll find Pat Cooper. And they're Cooper. giving out free prostate checks. At yeah. The, uh, yeah, yeah. Jesus, Pat Cooper. Don't let the door hit your Jew's ass on the way out. It's just amazing. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. Let's get out of here. Uh, uh, Pat, you got anything? Uh, Patrice, sorry. Jesus. Oh, I'm yeah, I'm doing uh, Caroline's uh, March 10th through the 13th. Thank you. My big return. I will. Uh, say that yeah. again? Mar Come March 10th through the 13th is... Um, Caroline's? Caroline's, All right, yeah. good. Oh, take a picture before. Oh, take a picture. Take a picture. We'll take a picture. What is that going to be used in some uh, litigation later on in life? Yes, we're calling you Jew. Come on, take the picture. No, no, we're going to take a picture of all this. I want, take it, I want to take it with all of us. All right, all right. Why don't we start the... Start here and go clockwise. Anthony, get in the picture. Get in the picture. We're going off right now. Get in the picture. We're doing your for the day. We're done. Good thing I was here. We all fit? Yeah, you certainly did. I bailed you out, buddy. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Come, on. Come on, Roland. Roland. Yeah. It's a picture Don't with a legend. Like All right, guys, have a great weekend. It was a lot of fun this weekend. Uh, we'll see you Monday. It's not the same like it was. Erectile dysfunction has become a serious epidemic. Pussy is over. Don't mean nothing no more. I can't get a heart on. Take it from legendary comedian and ED sufferer, Pat Cooper. It's no joke. I'm not making this shit up. You're with that gorgeous muffer. And you're in bed and it don't happen. Happened to me. And she goes, what's the matter? I said, I, 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 said, I think it's erectile dysfunction. She goes, what's that? I'm fucking dead. She goes, you mean you can't get it up? Medication isn't the only option. I tried Cialis. I tried Vi Viagra. I tried everything. I'm fucking dead. If you or someone you know is suffering from erectile dysfunction, contact your physician to explore alternative medical treatments. I swear to you, I went to a urologist. He says, how do you feel? I said, my big frill is peeing. I said, when I was getting laid, I said, go, ah, ah. Now that I pee, I go, ah, ah, ah. It's the same fucking thing. It wouldn't have cost me a dime. Just take it from Pat Cooper. Don't buy into the erectile dysfunction hype. Fuck all the bullshit. Your penis no longer works. Life as you know it is over. The doctor said to me, you're fucking dead. I'm fucking dead.